Today we're going to talk about understanding milk supply and how milk supply works. So milk supply is really driven by, you've heard the concept I'm sure, of supply and demand. And in nursing we call it demand and supply. So every time my baby here demands milk, right, suckles from my breast, then my body supplies milk. So the baby nurses, makes a signal, right, suckles at my nipple, that nipple stimulation leads to my pituitary gland understanding, right, there's suckling, and it makes oxytocin, which moves the milk, prolactin, which makes the milk, these hormones of milk production. And then that causes my body to respond by making milk and bringing in milk. So more milk out equals more milk made. And that is why it's really important in the early days, we are really in the phase of what we call the milk building phase. The more skin to skin contact, the more my baby touches my chest or breast, the more my baby suckles, the more my body's getting those signals to produce the right amount of milk. So in the very beginning, we produce that colostrum, the, the thick sticky liquid gold full of antibodies, but not full flowing milk, right? And then our full flowing milk comes in around day three to day five with complete unrestricted access to the breast or chest, we will see that our milk, full flowing milk supply then can come in. And then over the next couple weeks, starts to regulate into producing exactly what the baby needs. Of course, some of us will be what's called over producers and some of us will be under producers and, and may need to pump to supplement or provide supplement through donor milk or formula. But in those early days, we really are in the milk building phase. So it's critical to understand that if I have any separation from my baby in the early hours to days, what do I need to do? I need to help that. Remember we said more milk out is more milk made. So I actually need to either hand express my milk and stimulate my breast tissue and get that milk out through that stimulation. My body gets the signal, oh, I need to make milk or I need to use a pump, a hand pump um, or an electric pump to express my breast milk both to get it to the baby because if the baby is not nursing then they would need to get that breast milk right another way and also because I need to tell my body hey make milk so on average about every two hours you would need to pump in order to get that milk to the baby but also to tell your body to be in milk making mode so if there is any separation for any reason clinical or otherwise I encourage you to then work on pumping on average about every two hours so you can get that milk to the baby.